The former governor who governed Kusuna State for eight years says the most urgent and important task for the incoming administration will be to focus on security and economy. The current security challenges in the country needs how all hands are taken. We should not sit around and blame each other or play blame game on security. Security is everybody's business, it's everybody's responsibility. And what is happening in one corner of Nigeria today may happen in another corner of Nigeria tomorrow. So it becomes extremely necessary to build synergy among security agencies and for government to actually come down and reach to the grassroots level and work with communities, community leaders, religious leaders and other interested groups and even train agents, agent, uh, security agents who have retired, who are in reserve. This is the time for Nigeria to bring out its reserve to support the active forces in order for us to deal and uh, solve this problem of insecurity across northern Nigeria and indeed across Nigeria. So there is no question about the fact that whatever uh, next incoming administration has to do, they must start with security and economy. Otherwise, we are not going anywhere. Shema is admonishing Nigerians to remember that they have a collective responsibility to save the country from total collapse. He therefore urges them to focus on what unites the country and to emphasize what is likely to cause division. To emphasize or talk more about what makes us different or what tribe we belong to or what section of the country. Yes, fairness and equity demands that all sections of the country must be taken along, must be carried along. We have a responsibility collectively to save this nation from total collapse. And unless the political class realize the importance of looking at the needs of our people, the needs of our nation, and the need to unite and come together and work as a people to save this country, there is no how we can get out of the mess we are already in. Therefore, I still will continue to urge and appeal to all of us, all the people in the political class, whatever party you belong to. The former governor also explains how he ran the affairs of Kazuma State when he took over from the late Omar Musa Ira Adwa. According to him, planning and good financial management were the secret to the successes he recorded within the eight years of his administration. When we started, our income in the state was just about 3 billion naira per month. And our salary package was close to about 1.6 billion, 1.7 billion. So we had really little to go on. But with good planning, little amount of money can go a long way in providing dividends of democracy to a people. And our design, our program of action was started by what I can call, or what I call, Community Development Committee. And these Community Development Committees we set up that cut across each and every local government, each of the 361 wards in Kazan State. We created these Community Development Committees deliberately to get feedback from people of their actual needs for developmental requirement in their communities. The ex-governor of Kazan State is maintaining that it is only when the political and regional differences are kept aside that Nigeria would take its rightful place in the Committee of Nations. Awal Ibrahim, Arise News, Kazana.